Good morning, students. Here, this is Raj sir again before you, and I have come with the second video of class 10 computer applications standard 10 library classes. So, in this video, we are going to know about what, what are wrapper classes and what are the various methods. So, wrapper classes are those classes of java.lang package in which we are used using those classes to convert string type into primitive data type and primitive data type into string type. So, let's start and see what are the various methods of the wrapper classes to do the following tasks. So, not like my cameraman Manish to just focus on the LED so that we can show them the presentation. So, as you see, it is computer application class 10 wrapper classes. Then, we will be seeing the methods of wrapper class. So, first method we will be learning of how to convert your string into integer. Just look at an example. String s equals to 25 within double quotes. Within double quotes means it is of string type. Now, we are having a method, pass int method of which wrapper class, integer wrapper class. So, this is a class, wrapper class, this is the pass int method and the work of pass int method is to convert string type into what type? int means int type, int primitive data type. So, here you see int n equals to integer dot pass int s. S was 25 of string type. It got converted into int type by this method. Pass int method of wrapper class integer. And got stored under variable n. n is again of int type. Now system dot print ln n plus 3. Now n is having the value 25 but of int type. Now 25 plus 3. What will be the output? It should be 28. As you can see the output is 28. Then... Similarly, you see string to long. String s equals to 2937.68. Again, there is a pass long method which converts uh, from string to long. And that is of which class? Long wrapper class. So, long dot pass long s. S was of string type but got converted into long type and stored under n. System dot out print ln n. So, it is showing the same value but this n 2937.68 is of long type. Then string to float. See again string s3 equals to 7.659. So again this is of string type because it is within double quotes. Again the pass float method of float wrapper class converts s3 that is 7.659 into float type. Now you see system dot out print ln students have written s dot o dot p ln. It's actually system dot out dot print ln. So be sure when you write in programs, you write full. I've written in short. So system dot out dot print ln n3 plus 1. What is n3? 7.659 in what type? Float type. Plus 1. It will become 7.659 plus 1 will become 8.659. So that will be the output. Now you see another method string to double. String S4 equals to 21.57. Again, this is of string type because it is within double quotes. Now, we are having the pass double method of wrapper class double. What it will do? It will convert that S4 into double type. So, now N4 is having the double value of this 21.57. Now, system dot out print ln N4 plus 2. That means 21.57 plus 2. So, 21 plus 2, 23.57 is the output. Then integer to string, you see int n5 equals to 25 and string s5 equals to integer dot to string n5. So again, it is wrapper class integer and the name of the method you see to string. What does it signify? It needs to be converted into string. So it was integer, 25 was integer, it got converted into string and then it is storing under s5. Now you see system dot dot print ln. S5 plus 1, S5 is what? 25, but 25 in what form? In string form. So, string plus a number. What it will do? It will do concatenation. It will do addition by string type. Means only joining will be there. No addition. No proper mathematical addition. Only one. This 25 will fix with one. So, just like we call it will stick. So, this 25 and concatenation 1, so 251. Had it been of int type, then 25 plus 1 would have been 26. 
but it will not be 26 because this S5 is already in string type. So similarly, you see long to string same way. Long N6 contains 5, 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, long string S6, long two string as the name, two string, the name you will tell you, it is what it is doing, two string means it will convert the long into string type. So the long value 5, 7, 8, 8, 6, 7, 8 gets converted into string type and S6 plus 2, what it will do, it will again do concatenation, so it will not add it numerically but it will fix one, two at the end, after 8 you see, 2 has been fixed, this L is for long, so ignore that L, so that after 8 this 2 will get added up, added up means concatenated, then float to string same way, F7 is 123, 4, 4, 5, again the name you see, float dot to string, float wrapper class, the method is to string, it will convert it into string, F7, so S7 will have the string value of this, plus to again concatenation not addition so 123.45 plus 2 that means concatenate 2 just like fevicol you fix 2 so 123.452 then we are having another wrapper class that is double 2 string same way you see double d8 is 12.1 uh, 12.57 again string s8 is double dot 2 string d8 so wrapper class is double the method is 2 string so what it will do, it will convert the double value to string value and convert it into string type and store in S8. So system data printer and S8 plus 2, 12.57 plus 2 means concatenation. So 12.57, just like when we call you add 2 here, just fix 2 here. So it will come 12.572. So now we will be, we have seen that various method of now let's see what is the difference between value of method and pass method. Pass means pass int, pass long, pass double, pass float. So pass method and value of method. Both of them, this value of method converts string to primitive type but store it as object. This one also converts from string to primitive type and store it as primitive type only. You see the difference. Both of them convert string to primitive type, but this one will store it as object type. This one will store it as primitive type. So what is the difference? Returns an object type and this one it returns an primitive type. Just see an example. String S1 equals to 25 within double quotes. String S2 equals to 3.7 within double quotes. int n1 equals to integer dot value of S1. So S1 value 25 it will be there, but it is of what type? You see it is getting stored as 25 and double and two, double dot value of S2 3.7 again storing as double type but this system dot dot printer and N1 into 25 and 3.7 okay they are of int type and double type but actually internally they are stored as object type. Come this side same example string S1 equals to 25 string S2 is 3.7 only difference is that <coughs> excuse me. We have used integer dot pass int s1 double dot pass double s2 n1 system dot dot printl and n1 system dot dot printl and n2 again the values are 25 and 3.7 the difference is that this values are of object type this values are of primitive type so only difference is there in their storing inside they are stored as object type they are stored as your primitive type now let's see the various uh, methods and we will discuss about the character wrapper classes so character wrapper classes and its methods so character wrapper classes deals with character what are characters any alphabet or any digit or any character written within single quote within a pair of single quote that is called character so we'll be uh, dealing with character wrapper classes and its various methods for that we'll go directly to blue j and see its various methods working so let's go on to blue j now i've written one program i need i am hiding you the answers so it's a public class abdul kalam the technical banda so i told abdul to write his name because he has been so helpful in designing all this presentation so i mentioned his name abdul kalam then we are having a method public void main then you see system dot dot print ln character is letter a 
नाउ द क्वेश्चन इट इज आस्किंग इज लेटर क्या ये लेटर है इज इट ए लेटर स्मॉल ए विद इन सिंगल कोट क्या ये लेटर है इज इट ए लेटर यस और नो टेल मी आंसर यस इट्स अ लेटर इट्स अल्फाबेट सो द आंसर विल बी अ बुलियन टाइप दैट इज आइदर ट्रू और फॉल जस्ट सी व्हाट इट शुड बी इट शुड बी ट्रू सिमिलरली सिस्टम डॉट डॉट प्रिंट एल एंड कैरेक्टर इज लेटर फाइव इज फाइव ए लेटर नो इट्स नॉट इट्स अ डिजिट सो व्हाट शुड बी द आंसर फॉल्स देन कैरेक्टर इज अ डिजिट ए इज ए ए डिजिट no it's not so what should be the answer false then character is this is five is five a digit yes sir this is a digit so answer should be true then character is letter or digit a that means kya ye letter ya digit mein koi ek hai ya nahi is it a letter or digit or not to a yes it is a letter so yes the answer is correct so what it should be it should be true then character is letter or digit 5 is 5 a character is it a letter or it is a digit it's a digit so either any one is satisfied so what should be the answer it should be true then now you see the difference character is letter or digit hash symbol hash is a character but tell me is it a letter or a digit so it's neither a letter nor a digit so what should be the answer answer should be false as you see false then character is white space white space means any gap any uh, spacing is it a spacing no there is no spacing there is a letter here is it white space no so it will be false now you see character is white space now here we see one space is there is it a white space yes it's a white space so what should be the answer true now character is upper case is this b in upper case kya ye capital letter hai upper case hai kya to no it is small case so what should be it is false now you see is it upper case d capital d yes the answer should be true is it character capital e is it lower case no it's smaller case lower it is uh, capital so it is not lower case what should be the answer answer should be false now you see character is lower case small f is it lower case yes so answer should be true character two upper now you see the difference two upper case means convert it to upper case so you have to convert it to upper case means small m convert it to capital upper case so capital m should be the answer so capital m character to upper case m already it is in upper case no need of converting so answer will be same capital m then character to lower case t already it is in lower case so small t only will come character to lower case capital t it needs to convert to lower case so small t will come now you see another method system dot admin print ln character of a so character is it a character is so already a character so only a will be printed now you see system dot print ln int of character a a as you know it has got a ascii value what's the ascii value of capital a is 65 so int value of capital a is 65 so what should be printed 65 character of 66 can you tell 66 represent which character yes capital b so these are the various answers student now you just write down note down this answers all of you write down this one true false false true 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 false false true false true false true capital m capital m small t small t capital a 65 b now we'll see whether we have written the answers is correct or not we'll run it so it's closed and we'll run that one so right click we'll click on new so one object is created click on okay you see right click it over there then void main method then click it over there you will get all the answers on this side true false false you see all the answers here and what answers we have written is the same answer you can just verify it over there so this are the various methods of the character wrap up class now we'll close this one we'll again go to the presentation now you see auto boxing what is auto boxing auto boxing means automatically it will put into a box you see generally our data are in primitive data type if you want to contain it in a box so you want to put it into a box so that is what is called auto boxing box means 
ऑब्जेक्ट टाइप ओके सो प्रिमिटिव डेटा टाइप इफ यू कन्वर्ट इट ऑटोमेटिकली टू ऑब्जेक्ट टाइप सो दैट कॉन्सेप्ट इज कॉल्ड योर ऑटो बॉक्सिंग सो द ऑटोमेटिक कन्वर्जन ऑफ प्रिमिटिव डेटा टाइप इन टू ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ इट्स इक्विवेलेंट रैपर क्लास इज नोन एज ऑटो बॉक्सिंग नाउ विल सी वन एग्जाम्पल यू सी इंटीजर वैल equals to new integer 26 now you see here 26 is of what type it is a primitive data type int type it is getting converted and stored under var under the variable val val is of what type integer wrapper class type. so it is a wrapper object so this 26 gets automatically converted into a object type so here what we are seeing is called auto boxing see some more examples double x equals to new double 12.42 12.42 is of double type. It gets converted as a object type of wrapper class double and gets stored under X. So this is again auto boxing. Again you see float t is 0.004. It's a float value. Float f1 is new float t. T means 0.004. So 0.004 gets converted into float wrapper class type f1. So this f1 is what a object of this. 0.004. So here primitive type 0.004 is getting converted into object type of wrapper class. So this is what is called auto boxing. Now the question arises: What is the need of auto boxing? So in auto boxing, what happens when you are writing a method and that method wants values, but not as primitive type. It wants value as a object type, but it will work on values. So what you have to do? You have to convert them into object type and pass it so to pass a primitive type to a function that uses a wrapper object as function argument then we will be studying about the array concept later on in array also if you want to have a primitive data then you need as array elements as object type then you need auto boxing now let's see what is unboxing unboxing matlab box hai usko unbox karna hai khulna hai unbox means it is like an object that object you open it up and it will become a primitive type so that is what is called unboxing so unboxing is just the opposite of auto boxing it is a system of converting a wrapper object into primitive type what wrapper object conversion into primitive type that method is called unboxing just see the example you will understand i integer val equals to new integer 78 so this 78 is of int type primitive type got converted into val so that is of object type so here this statement is uh, auto boxing conversion of primitive data type into object type so auto boxing now see the second line that is most important here int y equals to val now this is a object type this object type value will get stored under primitive type value int type and variable y so this object type getting converted into primitive type so this is what is called unboxing you see the first statement primitive type getting converted to object type auto boxing second statement object type getting converted to primitive type that is unboxing so yeah i hope you have understood the difference between first statement is of auto boxing second one is of unboxing what's the need of unboxing again suppose in an function there is a argument which requires your object then what you will do you will need to have it from unboxing and again in array list if you want data to be used from primitive data type so what you need to do you need to have unboxing bye bye have a good day